my thoughts oh, And I don't know which side is better Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony if you are new here. In today's video, we are doing a cozy clean with me. So I have lots to get done around the house today. It has honestly been quite a few weeks since I've tackled my space. So I just wanted to bring you guys along today. So if you have anything on your to-do list, let's go ahead and get it done together. So as always, we are starting off in the bedroom by making the bed and then I'm wiping down the nightstands now. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the TV as well. So lots of dusting and wiping down things in here. So we're going to go ahead and get this done and then we'll move on to the next space. Well, give me clarity so I can see you could fit into my life when it's daylight and this night i will give away my soul but is it worth it i don't know i don't i don't know so in here we're going to wipe down the mirror and then we're going to wipe down the two sinks and then i also wiped down the toilet as well and clean the toilet bowl but i didn't record that part just because i'm always showing you guys um, myself cleaning the toilet so i'm just going to show you um, the mirror and the sinks and then we'll move on to the living room I know that my posting has been pretty inconsistent since November and I do want to apologize for that but hopefully at the beginning of the year I'll set some new goals and things like that in regards to YouTube and we'll start posting consistently. Um, during the weather change I definitely struggle with motivation and things like that so um, Definitely let me know what you do to stay motivated throughout the winter time and just give me all the tips you can and maybe help someone else in the comment section as well. So um, yeah, but yeah, hopefully at the beginning of the year, we'll definitely set some goals in regards to posting consistently. But for now, I want to thank you for being here. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. I post on cleaning, organizing, laundry motivation, um, anything to inspire you within the house. If you are needing that type of inspiration in your life, right now you'll definitely love it here and i would love for you to be a part of my youtube community here every time you walk away from me i want you how could i want you more oh when did i lose my perspective oh god have i lost it but my granny's who you so shameless can't get enough i've lost you So we're definitely going to focus on vacuuming every space within the house today along with mopping as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish all the vacuuming the bedroom and then we'll move on to the living room. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception. 
So in the living room today, I just wanted to straighten up, clean the couch up, um, cleaning the couch, meaning just make it look a little bit more presentable, um, folding some blankets, and then I'm going to organize the Christmas tree a little bit, just the presents underneath the Christmas tree. And then we're gonna go ahead and vacuum um, in here as well. So just pretty much tidying up and then we'll move on to the dining room area and the kitchen as well. I also want to mention that I was definitely not in like the holiday spirit this year. Eleni definitely made us pull out the tree and decorate and do all those things. So I appreciate her for doing that just because the holiday season right before January is the most exciting to me as far as winter goes. So she definitely made us be a little bit more festive than I honestly want it to be this year. So if you are feeling the same way, definitely take it easy. Maybe try to do one or two things in regards to decorating you actually will feel a lot better after doing it but um, I know that Christmas is around the corner now but just definitely stay positive and I know that during the holiday season it can be a lot of mixed emotions um, but just wanted to say definitely take it slow and um, you know just give yourself grace so I have a hard time giving myself grace so I always want to mention that on my channel and just you know take it slow one one day at a time and that's all we can do I just wiped down the entertainment area um, all I used was Mrs. Myers and this time I actually used a paper towel sometimes I find if there's a lot of dust and I don't actually feel like bringing out the duster I'll actually use a paper towel sometimes so um, I went ahead and wiped all that down and then I lit a candle it was the candy cane scent it actually smelled really good so the whole house honestly smelled like peppermint but um now i'm going to go ahead and vacuum pretty much all of the living room area and then we are going to work on the dining room space next
that's all right To me that's all right I, I spend my days just dreaming about you It has been a while since I've wiped down these chairs just because they are cloth. A lot of times I forget to wipe them down or vacuum them, but I wanted to go ahead and tackle that today. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm also going to tackle Eleni's bathroom. I just honestly deep cleaned her toilet. So I'm just going to wipe down her sink. Uh, she, she always gets like toothpaste and grime and all that kind of stuff um, on the sink. So I always have to wipe that down like every other day. So we're going to work on that right after this and then we'll work our way to the kitchen area. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention and I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments are you like a beginning of the year goal setter um, liking to uh, do all the New Year's resolutions and things like that or are you the same mindset as oh it's a new year new day but yes it's another day and I'm not really into like goal setting and things like that so I would love to know which person are you are you the goal setter or you just you know go with the flow not really that big of a deal the reason why I'm just saying is because I'm definitely like the goal setter in the family and then I have Lee and she is definitely not it's just more of another day for her but Honestly, she sticks to her goals better than I do when she does set her mind to it, which I think is always amazing because she's very content when she sets her mind to it. Like she set a goal like three years ago that she would work out every day, Monday through Friday for the gym. And honestly, she never misses a day unless it's like vacation. And honestly, she'll work out during vacation if the the um, hotel has a gym and then for me it's like I'll stick to maybe 30 days or 60 days and then okay I'm either on to the next goal or I have completely flopped on that goal so just let me know what you are I have learned in the past well going back to giving yourself grace is I would set like 10 or 20 goals for the entire year and then probably by June I would forget the type of goals that I even set for myself so this year I'm going to go with into it with a different mentality but not necessarily saying that I have to reach these goals but just having five things that I want to write down um I've definitely learned in therapy that I need to set smaller goals for myself and not trying to achieve all these huge goals all these huge goals I think that comes from me being a Capricorn but um, I just need to give myself grace going back to that again and just taking it one day at a time and just knowing that especially during the winter time it is a, supposed to be a time for us to uh, slow down because we are going 90 miles per hour in the spring and summer and fall and 
definitely around the holidays but at the beginning of the year during the cold time frame um, it is definitely important for us just to uh, slow down so just wanted to share that with you guys today Do say anything I'm going to go ahead and finish vacuuming and then we are going to bring out the old cedar mop to do some detail mopping. Um, I wanted to definitely tackle those baseboards today because it's been a while. Normally I'll just bring out my wet vac and then um, that doesn't necessarily get all the like corner and crevices and the baseboards. So definitely doing some detail mopping today. It's what it is, nothing left that we could do Even though it hurts right now, we will make it through I'll get over you I'll get over you Back when I met you We were like fireworks Thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned Look at us now We scream, we fight And no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line mm -mm. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you and me were so messed up together
guys enjoyed this cleaning video i hope it inspired you to get something done today whether that's to simply make your bed or do a load of laundry definitely be proud of yourself and like i said always give yourself grace and take it easy and don't necessarily put all these different things on your to-do list and overwhelm yourself maybe take your first three tasks that you need to get done and maybe try to start there so i was definitely talkative on this video today but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one bye Let's say, um, don't talk about it crazy. you know damn well i can't replace you just say what hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you are new here in today's video we are doing a clean with me it is definitely more of a cozy clean with me so just have lots to get done around the house today honestly it's going to be a little all over the place and that's okay but just wanted to take you guys along with me today and just give you some motivation to get something done so let's go ahead and get into the video to do. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what, what's going on so of course we're starting in the bedroom and I just made my bed. That is always the first thing I do as soon as I get up or as soon as I start my cleaning routine. And so we're going to come back and vacuum that space as well. But we're going to go ahead in the bathroom and now we're wiping down the mirror. We're going to wipe out the sinks as well and then we're going to vacuum this space. Um, and then we're going to work our way into the living room. And then I also want to tackle my guest bedroom where my office is as well it's looking pretty junky just because i'm trying to get everything together for christmas and for some reason i'm using that room as like a junk pile but we're going to tackle that space as well and then later on this evening we are going to clean the kitchen um, so like i said lots of motivation so if you need any type of inspiration to get something done today you are definitely at the right place also, I'm going to go ahead and throw a load of laundry. So if you have that laundry that you need to throw in the wash, let's go ahead and get it done. Um, I know how it is. It's one of those things, once you get started, you're good to go, but just procrastinating can definitely drive you crazy. What I do is try to give you more than words. What I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts. We got play, we got places we can go. So I definitely didn't have that many towels compared to the dark colored clothes. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything in together. Um, if I can just conserve water as much as possible, I definitely try to if I can just combine all of it together. So that's what I'm doing here. And then we're going to go back to the bedroom and go ahead and vacuum it. Then we'll work our way to the living room after that. You got me too. You can I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday, someday.
living room today. We're just gonna straighten up the couch. Honestly, we love the couch, but it is definitely a lot of work to keep neat and tidy. I don't know, it drives me crazy when it looks like we've honestly slept on it all night, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten the couch out and then we're gonna vacuum in here as well. I'm so ready to put up the Christmas decorations. Definitely ready to take the tree down just because I just feel a little claustrophobic in this space, but definitely love how everything turned out as far as Christmas, but I'm definitely ready to take it down. So next we're going to focus on the dining room area. I'm going to clean off the table, wipe it down, and then we're also going to vacuum in this area as well. This definitely seems to be like our catch-all space in addition to the counter space area, but um, countertop area in the kitchen. But, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to clear everything off the table and then wipe it down as well. Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it is definitely all over the place. And at first, honestly, I wasn't even gonna post this video just because I do like it to be in such an order that makes it look, you know, easy, cozy, clean, you know, give you all those type of vibes. But I was like, no, this is definitely realistic. I wasn't able to finish all the cleaning in one sitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and so I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and post it just to give you that cleaning motivation. But yeah, definitely, I don't know, this was different for me, but I'm I'm so glad I actually posted it to give you guys the motivation. But this is just your sign to know that you can't get everything done all the time in one sitting, you know, definitely give yourself grace and take it easy and be okay if you have to come back to it. Don't necessarily mean that you can't do it later. And, um, you know, if you have things in between cleanings and things like that, just don't say, oh, I'm not going to do it at all. Definitely, you know, take it one step at a time. So just wanted to throw that in there because this was definitely a little bit hard for me. But um, we are, you know, changing things and getting things together for the beginning of the year. But just wanted to give you guys this video. And if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I post on cleaning, organizing, laundry mode motivation anything to inspire you to get something done around the house if you are needing that type of inspiration in your life right now you'll definitely love it here and i would love for you to be a part of my youtube community here I 
can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in later it is almost eight o'clock and we had just eaten dinner so just wanted to uh, tidy up in here wipe everything down um, and you know get everything together for the next morning most of the time if I don't feel like cleaning like the entire house or that day wasn't an entire cleaning routine day I definitely always like to go to bed with a clean kitchen and me and Lee are exactly the same so that definitely helps so we tag team it but there's nothing like a clean kitchen whenever you wake up the next morning you and I you and I you tell your friends about I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know cause you know I could ruin your life rumor has it you have someone new she'll regret you like a bad tattoo cause you'll never change you'll always stay the same go on and tell all your friends all about me I don't give a nothing sticks to me baby yes honey I normally always use the Power Dawn 
um, spray to deep clean my sinks but lately I've been using the scrub daddy natural paste cleaner and it actually works really really good so if you're looking if you're in the market for a um, you know product that a natural product that cleans that deep cleans the sink you'll definitely like this product tip I want to give you guys that if you don't tackle your floors at all throughout the day or throughout the week or just choose maybe once every so often to clean your floors I would definitely recommend at least tackling your t kitchen every single day I don't know that is pretty much where you accumulate most of your dirt so I would definitely recommend trying to take five to ten minutes to at least clean your kitchen floors whether that's sweeping mopping vacuuming however you do it but I definitely recommend to make that like a daily habit um, you know for some reason it doesn't look as bad in regards to your other floors is if you keep your kitchen floors clean so definitely recommend that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it inspire you to get something done today and if that's to simply make your bed or do a load of laundry definitely be proud of yourself for doing so and just remember to take it easy during this holiday season and I will see you guys on the next one bye welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you are new here and today's video we are doing a cozy clean with me so the main things i need to get done today is just tidying up the living room making my bed and taking down the tree and the ornaments as well so we have lots to get done today so if you need any type of motivation to get something done you are definitely in the right place and i'm excited to take you guys along Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings in my heart So this year's Christmas decor Didn't really consist of much Mainly the tree and the ornaments um, I did put out a couple of um, pieces in Eleni's room um, but mainly this was it I did have two garlands I also put up as well so um, met the main focus as far as getting ready for 2024 is tackling this living room the couch really needs to be wiped down real good and vacuumed as well want to wipe down the entertainment area and then of course the main thing is the floors because with it being a frosted tree um, it is super messy um, if I could go back and change things I think I would definitely get just like an all green I know the Charlie Brown trees are pretty popular right now as well but um, we're gonna get it all done today so what I'm doing here is just taking all of my ornaments down I try my best to organize it to where it's a lot easier the next year and so I'm just using the organizer basket um, for my ornaments right there um, and I just purchased that from Amazon and then I also have a Christmas tree bag as well which helps tremendously versus having it in a box but I purchased that um, from Amazon as well to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for your lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're missing feelings in my heart in my heart yeah that's impressive so 
it did take us some time to get all of those lights off the tree so i just stopped recording just because it was honestly being a pain um in regards to uh, taking the lights off if um once i repurchase a new tree i do think it's time for this tree to um, make its way maybe into eleni's room next year or our room and just purchase another one for the living room but i definitely will be purchasing a pre-lit tree because wrapping those lights around and unraveling them can definitely take some time every single year but we've definitely got our money's worth on this tree because we've had it for almost over five years now so pretty proud of that um but we'll see we'll see if there's any any deals or anything going on um, in regards to purchasing a new tree for next year. do is go ahead and tidy up the living room before I work on the couch um, and then of course vacuuming but I just wanted to fold the blankets um, and then we will go ahead and vacuum because there is stuff all over the floor I actually had to vacuum twice just because that stuff was everywhere but that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do and then we'll work on the couch after that coffee table I just have to put it together um, you guys should be able to see it in the next video um, but I am enjoying it pretty bare right now in regards to nothing in the middle just because when the tree was there of course it just made everything feel really tight definitely cozy but you know it feels good to actually take all of that down and just have like a blank canvas um for the beginning of the new year so i am excited to put that coffee table down just because i do feel like the living room will be more complete once that's down but for now we're just going to enjoy it as is <music> with the couch I'm just vacuuming it now um, I just felt some crumbs in the creases and stuff so I just went ahead and put my um, like my attachment on my vacuum to go ahead and vacuum the 
couch up and then also I just spot clean with the Folex carpet cleaner spray it definitely says it can be used on hosiery as well so I just take a microfiber cloth and use that spray um, and it works really really good and um, that's pretty much all I'm doing this is a brand new couch so not too much is needed but I just want to make sure I'm maintaining it as much as possible you guys a neat trick that we do with our lights um, to keep them from tangling up from year to year we actually use a gift wrapping roll and just um, roll up our lights and that is the perfect way to keep them organized so they're not um, getting all tangled and everything within you know the box or the bag or whatever you put them in but definitely use like once you use all of your gift wrapping paper definitely use that roll to organize your lights I also want to say if you are enjoying this video so far, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel here. I post on cleaning, organizing, decluttering, laundry motivation, anything to inspire you or to motivate you to get something done. If you are needing that in your life right now, you'll definitely love it here and I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube community here. work on is our little entertainment center space here I'm just going to put all the decor back where it goes wipe everything down um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and end with vacuuming again just because I wiped everything down including the couch and the entertainment center and I just know there was a lot of dust on both so I'm going to go ahead and vacuum again just to finish it off I also want to say um, I know this week is so I don't know i feel like this week is always the weirdest week for me at the end of the year in between christmas and new year's it's almost like a lot of people are off work um a lot of people are just at home and especially if the weather is um you know there's no sun and stuff like that it's very gloomy um it can give you all the feels so i just want to say that i hope you are doing well i hope you are taking it easy and you know as the winter approaches or the winter continues to approach you know we're gonna it's good to stay busy and keep your mind going because I know seasonal depression is definitely no joke um, but I just want to encourage you to definitely you know give yourself a to-do list plan some things out sometimes when you plan things out it definitely helps you stay motivated to get something done so um, we'll be doing that together this winter but I definitely want to give you guys some videos this week just because this week is always a weird week for me and I just love to see people that are motivating me and you know pushing me to do things whether it's around the house or you know working out or things like that so I definitely wanted to put these videos out for you guys Guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to get something done today. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you are new here in today's video we are doing a clean with me video so we have lots to get done around the house today this is basically my morning cleaning routine so just simple things that i do every day to keep a tidy home so if you have anything on your to-do list let's go ahead and get it done together today Disguised as
So as always, we are starting off in the bedroom. Just wanted to make the bed, wipe some things off, and then I also had some laundry to put up as well. So just some basic cleaning in here, and you'll notice that I have changed around quite a few things as well as added a few things. So a couple of changes, like I said, let's talk about those. So I did add the olive tree um, to the right of me, and then I also added that accent chair. So you'll notice that the living room is a lot different as well and then I also added curtains in here and then I also um, added a flannel sheet with like a floral print and it's more of like a fall print um, it I purchased it from Target I really think is cozy and cute especially for this time of year so I did add that flannel sheet as well and then um, we made like I said we made lots of changes in the living room and then we also have a new entryway table as well so we'll talk about those a little bit later. I get to panicking anxiety, can't live here no more. No more, no more, no more. I convince myself that I don't want what I really want. I've been it before. It's time to call it protecting my heart. Her disguise as strength. So I just feel like my laundry routine has definitely went downhill recently. I don't know, for some reason I find myself washing a load a day. Now, I feel like the best routine I had at one point in time was choosing one day to do it, like do all of my loads in one day. So basically starting early in the morning and then finishing at night. However, it ends up being this whole week long process whenever I throw something in the wash and then move it to the dryer and then the clothes are sitting in the dryer for several days. Anyways, I feel like I'm struggling with laundry. So if that's a new year's resolution, I'm going to write that down to definitely come up with some type of strategy in regards to a laundry because I want to get back on a good routine i really feel like when i worked like a nine to five it was so much easier to keep up with it because i knew that the weekend we stayed at home quite a bit just because we you know we worked that monday through friday so we stayed at home and got it all done during the weekend but now that every day is a little bit different for some reason it's so hard for me to stay on top of it so if you have any any type of advice on how you get laundry done to where it makes you feel you know not so much anxiety to get it done definitely let me know down below i'm needing all the tips in regards to laundry we finally got the sectional in it took about six weeks to get the sectional in um, but we absolutely love it so I'm still in the process of getting everything together I um, DIY'd some artwork I'll show you guys that in a second well honestly you'll see it whenever I clean the entertainment center but we're going to place it above the sectional and I went ahead and DIY'd it I um, found it on TikTok on how to do it like I want to do abstract large canvas prints and every time I would research to see you know to purchase someone's artwork it was 
was like over a thousand dollars a piece so there was no way i was going to pay because i wanted three of them so there was no way i was going to pay over three thousand dollars for some artwork so like i said i searched on tiktok how to make abstract art and different um honestly so many different videos came up and like I said, I'll show you guys. You'll see the art. Oh, actually, you'll see it right here to the left. And so I spray painted it white and added a little bit of cream as well. So it'll match the sectional. But I'll definitely show you guys in the next video because we put it up last night. So it's not in this video, but I'll show you, um, you know, in the next one. But the living room is finally coming together. I love how, you know, the, I've changed the colors. It just looks a little bit more cozy to me. Um, you know, not as elevated, I guess I should say. But we do want to add a, a coffee table. And then after the coffee table, I'm pretty much set on this room. So the bedroom is complete along with the living room after the coffee table. And then um, Eleni's room is finished as well. So honestly, we are smooth sailing after that. So now we are in the kitchen just doing my normal kitchen cleaning routine. So I'm going to clean off all the um, stuff off of the countertop, of course, wipe it down really good, start the dishwasher, and then um, we are going to move on to vacuuming the entire house. So normally I vacuum each room as I finish, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So um, we're going to change it up today. I don't know what I was thinking. to see you again that was simply delusion. i also want to update you guys so honestly once i got monetized i really just needed a break it was almost like one of the things okay i hit my goal let me have a break because i hadn't missed an upload since january besides like when i would go on vacation so honestly i was just a little burnt out but um i want to thank you guys for supporting me i had a couple of you guys reach out and i really appreciate that it honestly motivates me to uh, record content for you guys and definitely push it out but just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of my schedule so i am honestly thinking about doing vlogmas and i would love to hear your comments below would you guys like to see a video every day so if you're new in regards to vlogmas what you do is you post a video every single day up until christmas um i've heard that it's very hard to get all of those videos out but i just thought it would be a good challenge and keep me busy especially as we go into the winter months because this is where seasonal depression comes in for me so i definitely want to keep busy this winter so just let me know your comments below if you guys would like you know short it will be short videos i would say maybe around nine to ten minutes but it will be a video every day leading up to christmas so i would love to hear your comments below um but other than that if i decide not to do vlogmas we're definitely going to probably stick with every Sunday. I'm going to try my best to do maybe every other Wednesday and Sunday. So, um, but yeah, just wanted to catch you guys up to date. Like I said, thank you guys um, for continuing to support me. And if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. I post 
content on cleaning, organizing, uh, laundry motivation, decluttering, all the things. I know recently I've put out a lot of cleaning videos, but I do want to get into more of organization and like just getting my life together type content. So that's definitely coming soon. But once again, thank you guys for being here. We were good together. I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me. I hope it inspired you to get something done today. And if that's just to simply make your bed, I am so proud of you. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.
hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you're new here in today's video we are doing a, a cozy clean with me so i have several rooms i need to tackle today definitely want to do some tidying up but then also have some little bit of detail cleaning to do as well so if you have anything on your to-do list let's go ahead and get it done together today oh it feels so good to take you off the pedestal i don't know what i was thinking let it be more than drinking and going back to your place never to see you again so as always, we are starting in the bedroom today. Definitely needed to wipe down some furniture and then also make the bed, of course. And then I'm gonna come back in here and vacuum a little bit later. But then I also have a load of clothes I need to fold as well. So I'm gonna give you guys some laundry motivation in this video. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the bathroom after that. That I was out my mind thinking you were the one that it was love feelings was strong. I should know. I should know. I don't know what I was thinking. Let it be more than drinking and going back to your place. Never to see. just want to say i hope everyone had a wonderful christmas or whatever holiday that you do celebrate i hope you had a wonderful time hopefully with friends and family um but we had a really good time as well getting through the holidays can definitely be a little overwhelming with getting everything together and stuff like that but i definitely do appreciate the time that you get to spend with families and friends throughout this time so um just want to know if you guys have any goals that you're going to make for the new year have a few um, and I would say the biggest goal for me in 2024 is definitely be consistent with YouTube just because this is like a side income for me now. So definitely want to stay active on here and give you guys all the content and motivation in regards to getting stuff done. Definitely want to prioritize my health and fitness. I feel like throughout the year of 2023, I definitely struggled a lot mentally. So I feel like 2024 is definitely going to to be a, a year of prosperity and you know just getting things together with me mentally but also physically as well so definitely not making any excuses of this year um, in regards to not getting something done but just wanted to share those a few goals with you but of course if you don't have any goals there's nothing wrong with that as well as long as you're getting by day to day you know that's all that matters I had a dream last night did everything I never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away And wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store, I think I'd have it all Tell you why I'd be more Picking the plate, being the plate, she is unruly Never seen her like this so in the bathroom, I definitely wanted to uh, detail clean the toilet. And then, of course, you guys saw me clean the sink and mirror area. Something about that shower I just keep putting off. But um, I'm not going to clean that today as well. We're going to make sure to a vacuum in here a little bit later. And I do come and mop as well. But I didn't get that on video. But um, the bathroom, I the sink and the toilet, I got you. But for some reason, I just do not like cleaning that shower. She can make all 
the problems disappear She could tell you the things you wanna hear She could read your mind and that she could pull out All the little lies to tell yourself at night Never get it wrong, it's always right Waking the plate, being the plate She is on her own, she is on her own Never seen it like that the next space we're going to work on is the living room and I just need to do all the basic things in there like tidy up the couch and then clean the entertainment center and then also a vacuum and mop that area as well and then of course we will make our way into the dining room area and the kitchen as well. enjoying this video so far i would love for you to subscribe to my channel here i post on cleaning organizing laundry motivation anything to motivate you to get something done if you are needing that type of motivation in your life right now you'll definitely love it here and i would love for you to be a part of my youtube community here But I never let him catch me No, I never let him claim me Wild thing, try to take me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's get this lake Stars are in line I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, baby, gotta hold on it Don't let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold no
Take you off, I came your way this drunk Cannot keep it low key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Bottle, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I first you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you So of course to wipe pretty much everything down in here, I'm going to use my microfiber cloth, of course, along with Mrs. Meyer's all-purpose spray, but then also to deep clean my sinks. Lately, I have been doing the uh, Scrub Daddy all-natural paste. Um, it's been working really, really good. I actually enjoy deep cleaning the sinks with that. I just purchased the uh, paste and the Scrub Daddy sponge from Target. We say we were good together
Next, I'm going to use the, my Tinko one to um, a vacuum and mop the floors. I definitely love this thing, especially when I'm not wanting to do a huge detail cleaning day. But um, I just purchased it from Walmart. I do know that they are on Amazon as well, but they have a much updated version. Um, nothing really won't, wrong with ours. I love that thing. So we're definitely going to use it until it um, runs out. But they do have a newer version, which of course is a lot more expensive. But if you're wanting the Tenko one, like I said, it is available at Walmart, and I'll go ahead and link that down below um, if that's something that you are wanting to purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it inspired you to get something done today whether that's to simply make up your bed or to do a load of laundry definitely be proud of yourself for doing so and of course i will see you guys in the next one bye welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you are new here and today's video we are doing another cozy clean with me so i have lots to get done around the house today and i just wanted to take you guys along so if you have anything on your to-do list let's go ahead and get it done together today I am starting out in the bedroom today of course with making my bed and then I just wanted to tidy up and then also vacuum in here definitely don't need to do like a wipe down or anything like that but then we'll move on to the bathroom after that <music> I have recently already wiped down the mirror so I'm just going to go ahead and tackle the sinks today and then after we finish in the bathroom like I said it's definitely not a detail cleaning day for the bathroom but just wanted to wipe some things down and then we're going to move on to the living room after that.
as I was tidying up the couch, I did notice that there were a couple of stains that I needed to wipe down. So I just used my Mrs. Meyer spray with a microfiber to wipe it off. Um, I have noticed that they show the stains and stuff show a lot easier than they did on our previous couch so I just have to constantly tidy it up and then you know we've set boundaries in regards to not eating on the couch and stuff like that but um, definitely loving the new couch but one is so hard to keep tidy just because it constantly looks like we are sleeping on it honestly but also just making sure to keep it clean and maintaining it. I didn't get to show it up close but the ceiling fans in the living room as well as the bedroom were pretty bad so I just went ahead and tackled those today I didn't show the back the bedroom one just because I had to do it where it wouldn't get on the bed so it was just a little hard for me to record but I did tackle both of them here is your sign to definitely tackle your ceiling fans it's one of those things that you just don't really look up much to notice how dusty it actually gets but here's your sign say i hope you guys are having a great start to the new year i hope you've um you know stuck to your goals or your resolutions or your intentions whatever that may be and if you don't have any hopefully you're maintaining a nice routine and just you know taking it day by day giving yourself grace and doing all the things Christmas gifts was this nugget ice maker and I'm definitely loving it it is pretty heavy only thing is we just don't really have countertop space for it so we're actually having to put it in one of the cabinets which is totally fine but we're just having to pull it out whenever we want to use it and then put it back when we're finished but definitely loving the nugget ice machine <music>
guys are enjoying this video so far i hope it's giving you the motivation to get something done today and if you are new here i would love for you to subscribe i post on cleaning organizing decluttering anything to motivate you to get something done within your house if you are needing that type of inspiration in your life right now you'll definitely love it here and i would love for you to be a part of my youtube community the black baskets that are above our refrigerator where this um, ninja blender goes was a pretty bad so I just wanted to declutter some things and maybe give other things that are in there a different home to allow space for the ninja blender so that's what I'm doing here just taking some things out of there that just doesn't necessarily belong in that basket and just allowing that basket to be just for our blender stuff it's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride to wipe down my countertops today i'm using mrs myers along with the microfiber cloth and also to deep clean my sink i'm using the dawn power wash spray that's pretty much what i always use i also use the scrub daddy natural paste cleaner as well which works really good but either one of those work good if you're looking for anything to deep clean your sink and then like i said i just use the mrs myers all-purpose spray and i pretty much use that for everything within the house so i always like to make cleaning and everything like that easy for the house i don't have a whole bunch of chemical products um, i try my best to stay with non-toxic products when it comes to cleaning especially with eleni in the household and you know all those unhealthy things they say but i definitely try to stick with non-toxic products Alright, if it's you and I Telling where it goes 
Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. So the last thing I want to do is just straighten up Eleni's room a bit. It is honestly pretty chaotic in regards to all of her new stuff she got from Christmas and us decluttering her stuff that she already had. I don't know. I always say that her room definitely doesn't look like the rest of my house, but I definitely let it be just because she's six. I know she likes her stuff a certain way, so I just sort of stay out of this space. Now, if it gets too crazy, of course, I'm going to come in here and clean it and do all those things but I sort of let it be just because as a child I want you to be able to make those decisions for yourself and you know when it comes time to hold her a little bit more accountable we'll definitely do so but for the most part I leave everything pretty much as is I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me video I hope it inspired you to get something done today and as always I will see you guys in the next one bye you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony if you are new here and today's video we are doing another cozy clean with me. So I have lots to get done around the house today. I need to tackle the bedroom, the bathroom, the living room, and also the kitchen as well. And then I'm going to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing in regards to the nightstand. So I have lots of motivation coming your way. So if you are in need of any type of inspiration in regards to getting things done, especially for the new year, this is definitely the video for you. And I'm excited to take you guys along today. the first thing we did today was make the bed and then I'm just going to tidy up the bedroom also vacuum as well but most importantly I wanted to declutter and reorganize this space not really much to it just felt like it was just getting a little out of control in regards to my nightstand so one of my goals for 2024 is to definitely declutter and reorganize a lot of different spaces within my home I try my best to make sure everything within my home is very intentional there's nothing in the home that we don't use and so forth so that is one of my goals definitely want to take it slow in regards to decluttering spaces so I don't want to do a thing like you know where it's taking an entire day to get everything done mainly want to just tackle maybe one or two spaces within the house every week or every other week something like that I'm definitely going by slow and steady wins the race type thing but I encourage you to do the same maybe write down your top 10 places that you want to declutter and organize and definitely take it slow and you know maybe say I'm going to tidy one space every single month I know it definitely depends on how your house is coming along or how it's looking but if that is one of your goals you'll definitely love it here I would love for you to subscribe I try my best to motivate you guys to keep a clean and tidy home and that's pretty much why I make these videos I just find them super inspirational 
one thing that I struggled with whenever I would watch YouTube cleaning videos, there was always those videos where the house was very chaotic or it was like a huge disaster that they were cleaning up. Well, for me, that is not realistic. So I definitely want to maintain a clean home and I want to encourage you to do the same. So that's why whenever you watch my videos, they are definitely realistic. Nothing is staged. Definitely not saying that other YouTubers or anything like that staged their homes. That is definitely not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is you'll never find me making like a disaster clean with me or like a huge clean with me or anything like that. I'm always going to be tidying and cleaning my home, whether it's on camera or off camera. And 90% of the time, I just grab the camera whenever I am cleaning my home. So that's why you'll always see me maintaining a clean home versus constantly cleaning like huge disasters or you know all those different types of videos but just wanted to throw that out there I know I have a lot of new subscribers so I just wanted to share that to let you know it'll always be realistic and it'll always be me tidying up a home that already might technically look clean but that's because I'm huge in regards to maintaining a clean space there's a lot of research done on you know keeping a tidy home definitely helps with your mind and your mental health so that's definitely what we strive to do here where are you heading why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me i've lost you but i need you and you're off my radar now i've lost you wipe down this door definitely had a lot of fingerprints from Eleni but also from the dogs as well so just wanted to clean that I honestly probably haven't cleaned it since like the summer time frame but we're gonna tackle that and then we're also going to tidy up the couch clean the entertainment center and then end with vacuuming as well we also have a few more spaces we're going to tackle including the dining room area and the kitchen area i was definitely like in a time crunch this morning so i got pretty much everything done within 45 minutes to an hour so there is your sign that it doesn't have to take all day to clean your home as long as you maintain your home and take all the tips and tricks that i share on my channel it'll definitely take you no more than 30 minutes to an hour because that is including like the little decluttering and reorganizing that i did um, in the nightstand it shouldn't take you that long to keep a tidy home once you go through that process of decluttering and reorganizing so definitely stay tuned for more videos in the future i'm going to be giving you guys all the tips and tricks in regards to a maintaining a tidy home
that we are in the dining room area of course i just wanted to take everything off of the dining room table wipe it down this is definitely one of our catch-all spaces including the countertops as well so i just wanted to go ahead and clean that off and then we're going to vacuum underneath it as well at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on We pretty much always clean our kitchen the night before, especially if it was one of those days that we actually cook dinner because we try to do maybe like every other day type thing in regards to cooking. So we did tidy the kitchen the night before. So I pretty much just needed to wipe down the countertops. Um, we had a few dishes that were left out that I needed to throw in the dishwasher, but it was pretty simple cleaning in here. Um, but I do feel like I'm constantly wiping these countertops off along with the chairs as well. How we got burned Look at us now We scream, we fight And no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line mm -mm. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on enjoyed this cozy clean with me i hope it inspired you to get something done today and as always i will see you guys in the next one bye